you will be on an old wrestling book I found at my place. WWF Wrestling. And this was made in 1992. This book. And look at this. It seems like an official WWF book. Before that it went to WWE. I took out the inner jacket for the cover. And I'm gonna not really review this because I don't think this is a book that you really can buy or find anymore. And so this is the inner uh, hardcover here. This is not going to be so much a review as I was looking through it recently as a discussion on the, the question of the pictures and some that either look good or just seemed wrong to do on profiles that they should have chose better pictures. And I also just want to show the pictures of this book. Since again, what are the odds that you'll be able to find it or buy it, even if you did want it? So, I'll just try to do that. And I gotta say one thing. The picture quality, the crispness, some of them look really fantastic. And this is 1990s technology, the old school way before the digital age. So, just the quality that the original photographers took on some of these photos is pretty amazing in terms of the resolution and in terms of the detail they got. So with that said, and again, they're probably the best photographers, let's take a look at this book, the Table of Contents, Macho Man, Rick Martel. They do some superstar profiles here, and then some of the other stuff with wrestling. And so let's go through this book, page by page. Introduction by Hulk Hogan. Look at this. Early 90s. Picture. <laughs> this looks like the Rumble, the superstars of WWF. All right, start out with Hulk Hogan. That's a good picture in terms of the format. And then the funny thing is, when I talk, you'll see the questionable photos that. That's why I'm making this video. I was looking at it and I thought, you know, why did they choose that photo for a profile picture? So that picture is okay in my book. <laughs> Look at that. With the boss man <laughs> putting his arm on him and they're kicking Earthquake in the face. And kicking him in the chest. Andre and Hogan. Look at that. Undertaker, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan. Amazing, this guy's still wrestling. Not many from this era are still wrestling. Macho Man Randy Savage. Dropping the elbow on Hogan. Okay, that's a pretty good action photo here. With Jake. Miss Elizabeth. But here's the funny thing. Okay, we'll start here. You saw a clear picture of Hogan right here. With Macho, you don't see a clear picture of him. Here, you just see he's turned halfway. You're not really getting a clear shot here. And you don't get a clear shot here. And they devoted one, two, they devoted like four pages to him and no clear shots. The Undertaker, by comparison, clear shot of him, you see that? That's a pretty cool action shot. Look at that. Again, pictures are pretty good for his profile, for his character, the action, and that one. Could have been a little bigger, I thought, but it's the only thing I can see. Ric Flair. I didn't like his 1990s run, WWF. Just wasn't that good. That's an okay shot. It would have been better had he been turned towards the camera. Figure four. Good action shot. That's just a weird shot. I mean, that's not even one of his main moves, Ric Flair. What's he doing there? So, you know, it's just weird. And that's Haku. 
Sid Justice, I never thought he was a good WWF match in terms of the character. He was better in ECW and WCW. This would have been better for the profile shot. And this would have been better just like for an action shot. But this is a pretty good picture. It shows you who the character is as compared to some other ones I just showed. The British Bulldog. Nice photo here. Check that out. The composition, the action, plus he's facing the camera. This one, a pretty good shot, but you know, the camera is like looking up when it would have been better had they had a, a picture more spot on looking at the guy. But this one, really nice. So overall, pretty good profile in terms of the artwork there. And look at this, they devoted four pages to him. That's how much they like the character, I guess. Again, good action shot. I mean, his pictures are better than some of the other ones I've just mentioned. Jake the Snake. See, that's a good photo. Could have just been a little bigger. And that's a pretty good photo. The only thing to me is he does not have his iconic green pants. That was his best look. And, you know, just couldn't get that green pants for his profile photo here. Look at that. When he had the snake that bit Macho's arm, I remember that angle. Check that out. Really beating Macho. And they gave him four pages, which is a lot. Sergeant Slaughter. And this is the reason I noticed the photographs and decided also to make this review is that, look at this, they gave him two pages and you don't really see him, the character. You see his back here to the memorial, and you see him doing a body slam, but you don't see a forward shot. You don't see him. And that's just so odd. Here he is having his profile, and you don't see a forward shot of the guy at all. And that stood out, and I said, wait a minute, how many other bad pictures are in this book? Bew and Blake, the Beverly Brothers. I never really remembered this team. They were so forgettable. This is an okay action shot, and this, but it really lacks a forward profile picture of both of them. So it was kind of odd. The Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. What's really nice here is they used his Million Dollar Dream, which is his finisher. And you see this. And the Power Slam, you actually do see him. Good action shot. Could have been just a little better had they had a picture of him in his suit with the belt. That would have been better. It's not bad compared to Slaughter because at least you see him a bit. And another thing that really stands out, as mentioned, is 1990s technology with the old school cameras. This is really crisp resolution, details. I mean, it's just whoever took the photos just really knew their stuff in terms of getting good, photo, good photographs of the action because, I mean, the composition is just nicely done in terms of the photo quality. Bret Hart. Putting on the sharpshooter finisher and Mr. Perfect. Good action shot. Good profile picture. The only thing is I would have made this picture bigger and even because it's kind of curved. And this should have been smaller as the action shot. Plus maybe they could have had a photo of him in his, in his coat. Would have been even a nicer choice. The Mountie. It's weird, you see T Tito better to the camera. You see his back, and you really don't see him here. You see more of Brett. Just a very odd choice that they gave two pages to the Mountie, and you really don't even see him. Just like a slaughter here that I mentioned. The Big Boss Man. Here is another weird thing. This is a pretty good profile photo. It should have just been bigger. But that's not his finisher. This is like a power slam. His boss man slam is famous. It should have been a picture of his finisher move. With that said, again, good resolution, good photo quality. Just, they could have just chose a better picture. Andre the Giant. This was when his health was in decline, clearly. But you see, this is what I'm talking about. A very good photo. Check that out. Compared to what I was just talking about on some profile photos, 
not only did they give him a full page here, but maybe it would have been just a little better, oddly enough, if it's not a full page, just a little smaller, and then you put some text. Again, their formats are pretty weird. Here you gave like a full page, and then on other profiles you just give like a small photo. There's no consistency in terms of design of how they're making this. It's just all over the place design-wise. But again, good photo. He has one of the better profile pictures. IRS. This is what's weird. Check this out. Look at this. He's looking at the camera. They got rid of the original background. But you see him in his costume, his suit. That's a really good photo. Action photo is weird because that's not his finisher and it's not even looking at the camera. But good photo. He gave him two pages and he was just like a mid carter He wasn't one of the top guys of his era and yet he got a really good photo in the book. Hawk and Animal, The Legion of Doom. Again, what's weird? Look at this. Doomsday Device Finisher. Okay. Good photo, but it could have been better. You really don't see Animal. You don't see the full shot. And the profile photo, while very nice, is so small. This is probably one of the smallest. This should have been the full page. And then this should have been the smaller action shot. This should have been at least bigger. Very weird. I never liked their WWF run. I just thought they were, they didn't use them right, the company. Oddly enough, check this out. The Warlord, really good profile photo for a guy who was never big for the company, never in terms of being a, a top star. This guy got a good photo in terms of his profile picture. He's in his, he's in his costume. It's a good sized photo for the page. You see some text. And you see an action shot that's not bad in terms of the composition because it's facing the camera. So the Warlord, a mid carter, just like IRS, gets a good photo in the book. And some top stars don't get good photos. The Natural Disasters, Earthquake and Typhoon. Good action shot because you see both of them. And the Earthquake giving his finisher, but you don't see them both together really in terms of like the Legion of Doom photo which I just mentioned where you see them both really don't see it but I would say this is average but could be worse so not bad would be the final verdict Virgil again leapfrog and he's put the dream one DiBiase but you really don't see him facing the camera The Bushwhackers, this is a good photo. Look at that, they get a good photo. That's one of the things they would do, one of their spots. And even though he's not looking at the camera direct, he is, and it was their gimmick. I mean, it's a good photo. They did real good there. And some double team move, they're not facing the camera. That one could have been better. And this is also a good size in terms of taking up most of the page. And they got some text, really well done photo for this tag team. Shawn Michaels, look at this, he only got one page back then. Not a bad photo, action shot, but no profile photo. Same goes for the Rocket, Owen Hart. One page. Again, not facing the camera, it's just an action shot. Could have been better, but at least, at least it's not their back towards the camera, so. Roddy Piper. This is a good photo. It's not exactly facing the camera, but it's, it's a well done photo. It's a good size. And I don't get why I was talking about composition all over the place. This is perfect. I mean, good size. You see the bio data. And it doesn't take up the whole page like some other photos. This is really well done. And this is a good size for an action shot as well. So overall, really good uh, profile. Yeah, good job on that. The Berserker. One page. 
action shot, it's okay because you see most of the character. Could have been better, but it's a good size photo, so passable. But look at this, Papa Shango. Even though it's not a profile photo, this is like a perfect photo. He's looking at the camera. You see the character. It's not just uh, obscured overall. Clear shot. You see the character. Action shot. Good size photo for one profile page. He got a good photo. It's funny. Some of the mid carters are getting great photos and some of the top stars are not. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Again, this is a good profile shot, but why couldn't it have been most of the page? It should have been bigger. And they made the action shot hitting the Iron Sheik. It's a pretty good photo, but it shouldn't be a full page. It should have been like half a page. This is... How the heck were they designing this format? El Matador? They call Tito Santana's profile El Matador. Oh, that is so weird. Good photo. Could have just been, and I don't like that they curve some of these photos. This should have been the profile photo expanded. And this, which is a good size for a photo, this should have been the action shot smaller. And he's not even facing the camera, but he is the opponent. So, again, this is just, I don't get the design choices for this book. It's all over the place, people. Repo Man. He was Demolition's smash at least you get to see his costume and it's an okay photo hercules again at least he's kind of facing the camera again could have been better for both of them one page each the model rick martel again here we have the same problem this is a good profile photo but it should Way too small, it should be like most of the page. And the action shot, which they gave a full page of the Boston Crab, should have been much smaller. Not that size small, but it should have been at least maybe half a page. The Nasty Boys, they get two pages. And action shot looks okay. At least you get both of them on one image. But it would have been nicer to have a profile picture. And why are some of the wrestlers getting one page and some are getting two pages and some got four pages? I could see the four pages in the beginning, then you work your way down to the two page people, and then at the end you get the one page people. But now it's just all over the place. They put the four pagers in the front, but now you're getting one page and two page people. Skinner. Okay, I thought this character had potential. He was like 20 years ahead of his time because you look at shows on survival now about people surviving in the woods and they make reality shows on it. That was his gimmick. And he didn't get over, but his gimmick back then would work now because this is what reality shows are now, surviving in the woods alone. So he had the right gimmick, he had the right look but he was just 20 years ahead of his time. Okay, action shots here. Not exactly a profile shot. This would have been better bigger, but it's okay. Just could have been better. Tatanka gets one page and Brutus Beefcake. Tatanka is not even facing the camera, but at least you get the full body shot. Would have been better if it was looking at the camera, but Brutus Beefcake gets like a perfect photo. It's a good size. Half a page, looking at the camera, a uh, profile picture. So they chose a good photo for him. I have to question, who had access to the archives making this book in terms of choosing the photos? You know, I don't get it. I really don't. So he gets a good photo. He doesn't. And that's it for the wrestlers. Uh, they didn't put the Ultimate Warrior in here for a profile because he had left the company by then and I guess they didn't want to promote wrestlers who left the company but you do see the warrior a little bit later in the book in terms of some matches so it's nice that the makers did put him in the book no holds barred sharpshooter look at this 
the Jake DDT. Pretty good photo here. The Million Dollar Man the Sleeper. Macho Man. It's about a little more halfway into the book that we're switching formats. Hacksaw Duggan. Dropkick by Tito. This is really nice. The Doomsday Device. Good shot there. There's a pile driver. The Hogan boot to the face. The managers of WWF. Sherry. Good photo. The genius. Jimmy Hart. Good photo. Bobby Heenan. Mr. Fuji. Always seem to have a side view on Fuji. But Sherry really stands out and ahead of her time in terms of being a manager. Elizabeth, probably one of the best. Really good photo. The only thing is, I would have made this photo bigger, like half a page. And this, really nice photo, because that was the iconic like photo with them too. Always holding her. So, full page. I would have probably made this a full page and this half a page. But overall, two very good photos. So, well done. Bobby Heenan. That's kind of a funny that they gave a full page to an action shot. And this is probably remembered on the mic more. Probably should have made this bigger and this smaller. It's okay in terms of photo choices. And Mouth of the South's Jimmy Hart. He gets two good photos. Look at this. Right at the camera. But they get rid of the background, which again, why do some wrestlers have backgrounds and some they removed? But this is a real good photo of him. And this is a good action shot as well. So it's not bad. He gets a really good profile photo and two pages. The pole bearer. Good action shot. I don't get why he's interviewing Jake and they chose that for a profile picture could have used a better profile picture just very weird choices there but that one's okay Mr. Fuji good photo look at that facing the camera can't complain there and always like a side view which he's probably remembered for in the manager role you always see him on the side with the berserker not bad probably would have made this bigger and this smaller but overall not too bad Harvey Wimpleman, this is a weird photo that they chose for him. Well, disturbing in a way. General Adnan, he gets a good photo, look at this. That's a good photo. It just made it probably would have been better a little bigger down to here in terms of the size, but it's not too small. He gets a good profile photo for a one page. The genius. He doesn't get a good photo. He's with the Beverly's, facing away, very weird choice. Sensational Sherry does not get a good photo either, for one page. Look at her. She looks much better here, facing the camera, than here. They should have switched places. WrestleMania rules. This looks like the Battle Royal. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, Paul Lundorf didn't get a photo here. So it's WrestleMania. So this is WrestleMania 1. There. WrestleMania 2. I remember this cage. If you remember that big cage. And it wasn't too popular, but I thought it was pretty interesting. Again, side and back photos for both of them. Odd choices. WrestleMania 3. The classic Hogan Andre. And Savage Steamboat. The, eh, it could have been just an average photo. The only thing is they should have had the photo of Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant. Would have been much better than this photo in terms of a choice. WrestleMania 4. Hogan with a chair on DiBiase. On Savage. Action shot. Hogan Savage shaking hands. And Hogan should have passed the torch and kept it on Savage company-wise. But then they switched directions again back to Hogan. But that's a good photo. 
they never liked each other, but I really thought it was Savage not liking Hulk Hogan rather than Hulk Hogan not liking Savage. It was really Savage who had was against Hogan and not liking him. But at Hogan's end, he probably really didn't care and like Savage or anybody. So, WrestleMania 5, Savage Hogan. That's a pretty good photo in terms of action shot. Had the belt on. And that's not a good photo because you got the cameraman. You're not seeing Savage. It's kind of weird. Classic WrestleMania 6. Iconic photos here. The double clothesline. Hugging with the belt. They put the warrior in it. And he got mentioned. So really nice. WrestleMania 7. Slaughter and Hogan. That's the photo they chose. I would have chose something in the ring. Just. And that's it in terms of WrestleMania is when this book was made. 7. Get to grips with WWF. <laughs> the Iron Sheik putting Hulk Hogan in the cam clutch. A Sid Justice seems to be taunting both of them in a way in terms of the photo. As the guest referee. Classic shot. He's breaking his back after a suplex. The Royal Rumble. Pretty good Rumble photo because that's what it's about. And look, Repo Man made the photo. Shawn Michaels. SummerSlam, nice shot of the Warrior. So he did get in the book. Andre DiBiase, Elizabeth. Hulk Hogan, Dickin DiBiase. The Macho Wedding. Hulk Hogan, looks like that's Iron Sheik again. And General Adnan holding him. Survivor Series, always a classic. Look, Paul Landorf, Bam Bam Bigelow made it in there. Looks like, is that Don Morocco? The WWF goes global. British Bulldog. Good photo. Good action shot. Look at that. Somehow, he gets a lot of good photos in this book. Fans of the WWE. WWF. <laughs> DiBiase and Sherry. She gets a good photo here. And it's not even on the profile. More fans. Look at that. British Bulldog picture. In terms of fan sign. The Mountie. Jimmy Hart. Good photo. See the background. International. Look at this. Japan. Demolition, Smash. Yeah, Demolition didn't get a profile photo either in this book, probably because they're out of the company. But they were a really good team back then. This is merchandise. Hey, look. Zeus. He snuck in with a photo. Dolly Parton with Hogan. That's a good photo. Hey, before The Rock was making movies, Hulk Hogan was making terrible movies. And they had this format for the Monday show. Never liked that. DiBiase in the white suit, so he did get a photo. Classic stuff back then, storyline wise. And that is a good photo. They could have used that as his action shot in his profile. Hulk and Andre. Kind of weird, he's giving him a clothesline. It's, you don't know really what's going on. You could think Andre's slamming Hogan in a way. Good photo there. I remember the magazine, they had so many issues back then. They always had good covers, you gotta give them credit for that. Always some good photos and some articles in it. And that's it. So I just want to share this photo, I want to Really, because you're not going to probably be able to get this book. Where, where could you find it, right? Just want to give a photo analysis. You could see the photos. You could see what's going on. And tell me what you think. Did you like this review? You want to see more book reviews like this where you're going over the photos and just talking about it, what you think about it. 
and this was a long video so let me know what you think thanks for watching and talk to you later